Hot on the heels of microchips for family pets, a similar device for humans that performs basic technological tasks. As Laura Spurway explains, the tiny hand implant could potentially replace keys and most cards in your wallet. The size of a grain of rice, this could be the way of the future. I thought, well, you know, if I'm going to have a play in this area, um, why not start with something serious? Marcel Varallo had an NFC chip inserted in his hand. It stands for near field communication and uses radio frequency to connect to other wireless devices. It generally keeps a, a, its own sort of ID number on it. So you can associate it with your security systems. It can be programmed to open doors, replace fobs, going down and is compatible with Android phones. We've moved from luggables, you would physically carry your technology with you, to wearables, you could have it on your wrist, and now insertables. Peter Sheringham sells and inserts the chips for $200. The procedure is similar to a body piercing. The chip's encased in borosilic glass, which is um, biocompatible, so it can sit in there forever. Fans of the technology say it could be used to replace every card in your wallet from tapping on to public transport to paying for the weekly grocery shop and even storing your personal health information for hospital and medical visits. The technology could exist, um, but you'd have to have all the major credit card and banks sign on to that. There are also concerns about security, but these chips don't have GPS capabilities. So you have to be close to actually have it work. And we're talking, you know, this sort of distance. So you're not going to be able to be tracked from space. While users recommend the hands-free feeling, you should see a professional to get one. The idea of, uh, of having a foreign body sort of inserted into you is just, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Laura Spurway, Nine News.